for Vice President Harris. Uh huh. And two, three twelve for now newly elected. Okay. President. President 47. elect is I think what 47. they say. President elect. Forty seven. Forty seven. Yeah, that's 47. right. That's okay. right. That's okay. right. That was it. Monday that's night it. you laid down filling. Actually, did I say two? I think I said two sixty six. Two twenty six. I'm sorry. Oh, two twenty six. Okay, we can use phone and Google. Yeah, we yeah, can Google. We want to be accurate. Talk to me about yeah. when we knew the 47th president was not going to be the vice president. That moment of uh, just embracing loss. Right. Yes. Ah. Uh, and I'm still embracing it. Are you I'm still embracing it? it? Okay. I'm embracing it. I'm at, but I'm at a real place too. Though. Okay. Um, I expect I'm grateful the, for the experience. Uh, when you embracing. say you're at a real place, what do you mean by that? Does it mean you've accepted it? Does it mean you're? No, I mean I've accepted the outcome. Yeah. I've accepted the outcome, and I'm grateful that. I can still meet God in that emotion. Interesting. And I had to. Okay. Like literally, I had to meet God in that emotion. So God even be, God becomes more real in the loss for me. Okay. For me, not to spiritualize it, but just for me, God becomes more real and practicing His presence after the loss. Yes. Helps substantiate who yes. I really am. Yes. Yes. Gives yes. me something. Yes. So I'm good. I'm I'm good. I'm better. No, I'm not good. I'm better. Okay. Were you surprised? Not really. Why not? Presidency of the United States for the last four or six presidents have been one gender. Just facts. Okay. For forty six presidents. Forty five out of forty six. Right? No. Are we on forty six? We're on forty seven. He will be 47. Yeah. So 46 we've had. Yeah. So 45 out of 46. Yeah. Oh, all men. Yeah, You're saying gender. the men. Oh, the awesome. okay. Gotcha. Okay. I got it. Okay. I'm So I'm not surprised. So you're not surprised. Historically, we, we weren't ready to make history. Well, historically, the makeup for that position has been made. Historically. Okay. For 40. Six times. Yes. Right. Some have been repeats. Right. The presidency has been gender specific. Exactly. That's right. That's true. So I wasn't surprised okay. on that point. Okay. Uh, knowing the temperature of the country, I, I was not surprised that we really weren't ready to make that type of decision. Interesting. We was not. And when you say we, who, who do the you American put in? People. Yeah, it's interesting you the say American that. People. I'm just being honest. Well, I, I I shared with you, I did a little research. Yes. And I would love to just say the American people, right? And maybe you would love to say that? I would love can to Can we start say, there, at least? We can start there, and, and because... This aggregates of data and that and ag in, this, in this conversation. Yes, Is it all right if we disaggregate we can the data? Do that. Yes, yes. Okay, let's disaggregate. Do that. Yes. Let's start there. Okay. For 45, six times. Yes. This. I don't, was Washington elected? I don't know. I don't know. The first president? Yeah. Was he really elected? George Washington. Yeah, oh, I'm not elected. sure. I don't know. I, I don't living. know. I wasn't living. <laughs> there. I didn't have no. As my grandmama said, I didn't have a nickel in that bag. Did not, exactly. But right. I, I want to say, let's just say, up until now. Yes. It has been the seat of a man. Right. To be in that seat. Yes. Cool. Yes. I'm I'm cool with that convention. Yes. Period. Cool. Period. Okay. Now, the data reflects something that I'm not cool with. What is that? We'll talk about it later. <laughs> we go dive. I get. I need to take a slow dive into this because I thought. There was going to be a greater representation from certain groups and by looking at the data now i have been let down we're gonna yeah I've we're actually gonna dive right into I've, that because the, the deal is 
I, need to I looked, and as you and I were talking, I said, you know, the challenge, we could say, again, the American people, uh-huh. or we could go to, I know I've seen a lot of discussion around Caucasian groups and all mm-hmm. of this. The bottom line, though, is that we didn't take care of doing the work. Okay. And when I say we, I'm saying that African Americans did not even go vote. Regardless of who y'all chose, when I looked at the data after you and I had the conversation, because I said, I don't want to get on the radio and then talk about something that is not actually factually based. So I said, let me compare what happened in 2008 and 2012 when President Obama was elected versus what happened this time. And the difference is that almost double the, Go ahead, keep talking. the number of people African Americans, diversity, Latinos, the whole nine yards, um, showed up in 2008 and 2012 versus in 2024. So the question is, why did our groups just opt out of the process? And for years to come, we will, we will ask that question. Why did what, we? What are, what are some of the what variables, tendencies? Why did we opt out? Why did we opt out of the process? I mean, was it that they said, hey, on the other side, they're not Orlando can answer that question. You know, you know why did we opt out of the process of voting on, on Tuesday? As we look so at the, African Americans. Yeah, the male population. And he might even see the show on the grab real fast. Yeah, we were looking at a grab. This is, this and is a it real thing. that um so a lot of people were saying, well, 78 percent of African Americans voted, but if you look above that, only five percent of black men were among the voters. That can't be true. And there's twenty <laughs> yeah. so then I went and looked and I said, way. well, African Americans make up roughly twenty percent of the population. So of what population? Of the whole country, right? So no. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Sure. The whole so, country. Forty-one. There are forty-one point five seven million as of twenty two thousand and twenty-two. Yeah, I thought I had the other data on that. I could go pull it up. Yeah, um, I mean, African Americans as a whole in the country is under like fifteen percent, right? No, it was closer to like twenty percent. Yeah, it was African Americans. That's correct. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I exactly. Know, and, but we're not, I mean, and I, I don't have that particular. But the fact five percent. No, I didn't make yeah. that chart. I well, just, I guess if you're talking about of the whole country, it's only five percent. Showed up to vote. Million. Yes. Like me showed up to vote. Right. Well, well I, I can see that. You're talking about of the whole pot of okay. the whole country, right. only five percent are black men. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, the key is how many of those. Five percent voted for her. Seventy-eight percent. Seventy-eight percent. Okay. Like that. So, but the numbers weren't even enough. So, when you look at two thousand eight, two thousand twelve, that number was almost double. Yeah. Yeah. Well, go look at So, what is it? <laughs> well, I need to. I didn't need to study yeah, that for a minute. It? Yeah. I need to get. In fact, this article here from 2009 okay. says that the 2008 electorate was the most diverse in U.S. history. Okay. Well, I, I, let me say this. This is what I was saying on it. The whole thing about Kamala Harris. Okay. It was less about the fact that she was a female. Okay. President. Okay. It was more about she wasn't her own female because she didn't separate from Biden. So, in the eyes mm-hmm. of black men. You and Biden wasn't helping my situation. Mm-hmm. And I, so mm-hmm. she didn't separate herself clearly. And she may not have had enough time to do that. Right, right. But from the standpoint, they already knew what Trump was. They understood what his brand right. is. Right. There wasn't enough for me to understand, okay, what are you going to do for me? Right. And all I'm hearing is the echo chamber from what's going on for Biden. Right. So to me, that would have been one of the factors. Yep. And I think that, that's a really good point. Really good point. That's a really good what? point What's because point? What, what Orlando just said, there wasn't enough in the black male psyche to say, how are you going to be different and how are you actually going to look out for me? And, and like I said to you, I said, well, D.L. Hughley was at a black men conference or whatever that was they had on BET. I'm not sure how they termed it, but it would have been good for her to show up because, yeah, they're looking about that. 
Uh, they they're looking to know you got they they African American men, okay. which I'm not one. So yeah. So that could be a factor. That she did not have enough separation. She didn't have enough separation and she didn't have enough in her rallies. And yes, you have to take care of the whole United States, but just like she could rally for women, women's rights to um, abortion, you can rally for African American men's rights to whatever they need, right? And we have needs. Right, absolutely. And they were never were they addressed? prioritized. Were they even addressed? I don't think so. I don't. I can't remember her saying anything to prioritize me as a man. Yeah. And then to put the agenda of the community where I serve right the most right at the forefront. Exactly. I hope I said that correctly. No. Where exactly. I said the most <laughs> at the forefront. So I do. So thank you, brother, uh, for that because now that makes much more sense. Yes. Possibly the data reflects some of that right idea. Right. That number one, you didn't separate yourself from him enough. Right. And as the kids say, stand on business. Stand on business. Stand on business. Exactly. Number two, there was no prior. I wasn't a priority. Right. Exactly. What made me a priority right. under your campaign? Exactly. So, what were your bullet points that made the African American man male a priority? Right. Whereas the opponent, it's already understood in right. the slogans right. who priority is. And whether you like it or not, it's understood. They understand it. Exactly. It's understood. The truth, they are clear on who you who he they are clear on who he is and what he stands for. There is no ambiguity there. And when there's ambiguity, mm. sometimes if people say, if I can't say a hundred percent a yes, it has to be a no. And for you know, I think about, you know, even male relationships, they don't want to talk about it, they just don't say anything. Right? Sad word. And that seems that is what happened here. They just didn't say anything. Silence. Silence. Yeah. Can Silence. we misinterpret it? I always tell people that. Right. Because now we're guessing how they're thinking. Misinterpret. Right. But if you didn't show up to the fight, you can't say who won. You can say who won, but you can't say you helped compete. You didn't compete. So. Yeah. Now, and I'm also going to ask you this as a pastor, because you and I had this conversation yes. about, you know, this ideal that men are supposed to lead of according course. to the Bible, right? Of and so Gee, in the yeah. African-American community, there's a lot of evangelical Christianism, Christianity, I should say. And, right, exactly. And so that thought process might have had to be Unpacked a little bit. Yeah, we we actually had individuals who have some type of platforms on the social media scale, right? That were vehemently against. Oh, really? Her because of most poor because of the stance she's taken morally, right. right? Already, like some of the things that she stood for, you can go out there and find a lot of well, a few. Of, of the African American pastorate. Right. So no, we're not for that. Not for that. Right. Now you might be skin folk. Right. But we we're, we're not for that. We're not for that. As right. a matter of fact, I actually met a preacher in Murfreesboro, mm -hmm. Tennessee a week prior to the election. Okay. And he said he was connected to Bishop such and such. Right. Actually, said he was a son-in-law. Mm -hmm. I need to back fact check that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to see six, three, six, four brother get out the car with the red cap on. My amygdala rose. Okay, okay. I said, okay, let me shake this brother's hand and just figure out you have come here from there, right? With the hat on, right? Right. Pulled up in front of the hotel. Right. With the hat on. Right, right. And I'm like, I mean, I was gone. I was somewhere else. And then, you know, through self regulation, <laughs> emotional so intelligence. Right. Mm -hmm. Through school days, world class training. Right. 
agape leadership. Yeah. I was able to encourage myself. Right, right. To not dismiss him or be dismissive. Yeah. But to go shake his hand. Uh huh. I never really asked. But we started talking. He told me who his father in law was. Right. Who has a YouTube channel and everything. Yeah. But was totally against her being his leader. I don't think it was from the standpoint of just being female, but where she stood on some moral issues. Right. Right. Particularly so, that right to choose. Yeah, you know, all that that pro life, pro choice yeah. thing. That was a done deal with a lot of people. It, including my son, who's a younger person, right? I mm -hmm. mean, that was one of the first things he said also. He said, you know, mom, I'm not with that. Right. You can just go. And so to have a um Maybe that was too much of a, a a monolithic thought that everybody in the country or enough people who are democratic are thinking, yes, every woman should have a right to, as she says, do what they want with their own bodies, right? And, and then there are some African-American men who probably have said, you know what, not in the instances of you're going to lose your life, but in the instances of I didn't even know she was pregnant and yeah, she's gonna kill my baby. Yeah. Exactly. Right. So right. everybody, right. so when you have that thought, you gotta kind of walk through what are some of the other scenarios mm -hmm. when that happened right. and some a, a man who actually wanted his baby could so, because somebody independently made that choice. Right. So right. morally, uh she was let me say she this liberal thought idea that yeah. has swept through the Democratic Party or they force in the Democratic right. to that narrative. I don't know how true it is. Right. But it's definitely not who I am. Right. Right. First yeah. of all as a right. person. Yeah. Then being Southern and Baptist and Southern Baptist and church boy, some of the things I just was not for. Right. I just was not. Right. And then to add to that because I have to represent some form of ethic, right? That totally went against the grain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. of who mm -hmm. I am as a person. Mm -hmm. They preacher off the table, but right. who I am as a person, like you said, we're not knocking it for social media. Who's watching us? Uh, whatever is your is your choice, right? But mm -mm. unless it's something life threatening, right? For you just to be selfish, right? Nah. I'm Exactly. I'm not. Right. Yeah. And then there's some other things she stood on. And I was say she stood on. Uh huh. Were variables to definitely deaden uh, male support. Like what? Now, I'm not sure how far she went with this, but, you know, the transgenderism that's mm. within the nation. Mm. And Don won't the Don. Wanting to be Don. No. Okay. Okay. D O N. Yeah. A W N <laughs> wanting to be D O N. Cool. Yes. Okay. Or D O N. Right. Wanting to be D A W N in play right. sports. Right. Okay. No, we're not doing that. Right. Okay. No, we're right. not doing that. Because right. you were born D O N. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. And you have the makeup of a D O N. Right. And now you want to be D A W N. Right. And go play sports with right. the girls. Right. No. We're not doing that. We're not even, that's not even a discussion. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's not even a discussion. And if I had a child, if my daughter, who's now my daughter, if she had to, if her opponents, three or four born men, boys, you're not playing in that game. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not where there's anything where they have to come into contact. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're not doing it. Mm -hmm. I just feel like that is to me. We're not doing that. Right. right. That is real. Right. That's a real space. Yeah. yeah. And for the the right, the left, the in the middle, the direct, whatever, to push that narrative on my on me all the time, I was always hesitant about being upfront in my support publicly yeah. because of the backlash. Yeah, no, I hear you. So I was like, no, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. But what yeah. saved Right. For me. I told you what okay. saved uh -huh. But some of those other issues. It's the fish fry. It's the Oh, eat this, you know, eat, eat some fish, but you it is I think she whiting. I'm just saying, right, right. But we're just talking about the moral piece. No, and and I, yeah, I'm, I'm not with I, that. 
I totally I'm not agree with some with of that you. stuff. Yes, and yes. I'm still not with it. Yes, yes. And I know where we're going, where some people have gone. Right. Okay. Preferably, I won't have to make those decisions. Right. But I just feel like that's so unfair. Yeah. To change what God has already put in place. To put, yeah. Where you have created right. yourself to be something that you don't have the moral capabilities to become and be. Yes. So yes. I'm, I'm mm -mm. so girlfriend. Right. Slow that down. Slow it down. Slow your roll. Right. Slow your roll. Because down. if you're saying I am the president of all of America, then you cannot have extreme views right. in a direction that mm -hmm. right. the whole that right. what do you call polarizing. Okay. Those views could be seen yeah. as polarizing. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, no, I totally get you. So if we're giving her advice, because we got about four minutes, three minutes left. Oh my God. And we say, Hey, you know, Auntie Kamala. Yeah, auntie, what she is. Auntie Auntie Kamala. Come on, Go around that corner. What, are, right. what, what do you take out. away from this? What if she if we would give her like a takeaway to really say if you're thinking about this and how you're gonna really impact the country and particularly African American men, what's gonna get them to the polls and want to vote for you? What is that? Because you guys are significant to the demographic that would help her get in the office in the White House. And I say that because when I looked at the stats for Caucasians, pretty much they voted about the same. In terms of percentages, back in 2008, 2012, the difference was the diversity. So, slow down. Let's, let's unpack that and we'll finish this conversation mm -hmm. on another day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Give me those stats again. The percentages of Caucasian. People need to hear this. Mm -hmm. Based yeah. upon the data that was given in 2008, 2012. Yep. So, it was about 76, if I'm reading this right, 76.3, 2008 Caucasian people um and then in 2020 i think it was like around 71 so maybe down about five percent even less actually uh, so let me just but see. it was down it was down but when okay, we get to 2024 right 71 percent voted in 2024 76.1 uh, in 2008 so they're even down no i did both white men and women right yeah, but that's the, but 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 when you get to us, right? But when you get to us, us right? Exactly. There was a significant, significant drop, drop off, almost about fifty percent less. African American male, both. I put them both together, but but for the men, um, it may be about fifty percent less. I mean, that that says yeah. a lot. That says a lot. Didn't even show up. They just said, "Hey." And we we heard from an individual yesterday who is. Not Gen Z or Gen Z. We couldn't figure it out. We, we couldn't figure it out. Right. But said he's 27 and was what his narrative was. It's like, whoa, we have to change the narrative. Right, exactly. We have to change the yep. narrative. Yep. Because he's his thought was she can't. Because she can't. Right. When she can, she's had some of the most she's had the most influential Positions a country can offer a person. Right. Yeah. In law. Right. This is true. Right. From California, you are the what? attorney general, district attorney, district attorney, uh, yeah, district attorney, you DA, general, senator, all of these. You, right. Exactly. You can't go any higher. Right. Right. That's true. Then you become the vice president. Right. Mm -hmm. So your veto is phenomenal. Exactly. You can't get any better than right. that. Right. But. It was the other issue. It's the other, and when you come outside of California, which is typically a much more um, liberal uh -huh. state, right? You got to think about that. You got to think about that. Yeah. Because I mean, the the red they the red wave. Ooh. That's what they call it at some point. <laughs> but we said it was the blue. <laughs> It was a red wedding by Texas. They said, this is it. Yeah, they said, I wish we had time. We do have time. We will finish this conversation. Yes, yes. And we're going to dive deeper into that data. It's been fun. It's been real. Thank you for listening to the Leaders Lounge. Yes, yes. Thank you. How can they hear, the, hey, hear you down and where can they get your service? Oh, worldclasstraining.net. And we got a program, worldclasstraining.net forward slash SOAR is our um, four sessions. 
to help y'all plan and be ready for 2025, the year of the yeah. awakening, great alive. personal development, all of that. Yes, in 2025, 2025. absolutely. So, yes. All right, until Thank next week, we 